When I was already in London, I applied for a scholarship for songwriters. It was awarded by BASCA, which is um, you know, um, an organization that looks after the copyright of like everyone that, that is an author. So like primarily like for songs and books. And so um, I applied for um, this contest. The award was uh, a scholarship. And so the reason why I did it is because like actually I could not afford the rate at the college. It was too expensive. I didn't want to ask my parents for money. So I was like, okay, you know what? If I get the scholarship, it means that I'm doing something right and I'm actually a good songwriter. And so I applied for the scholarship and um, through this contest, we ended up like performing in front of like a panel of like judges and like music experts. My song was um, judged the most radio friendly, the most poppy. So I won a partial scholarship that allowed for me to pay enough fees to get to this new college. And I guess that was the right choice because within the same like in the same college while i was attending the same college i also met my first publisher that you know introduced me to the amazing world of k-pop so i guess one of the reasons why i'm here today it's definitely that scholarship and that magical encounter that brought me you know to write k-pop <laughs> you know there's there's like many cases in which like uh, the the kids they're like there's a parent that really wanted to have a career in music as a musician or like entertainer and really push you know really pushes their kids to follow a similar path in my case it was honestly just an instant love um, I remember if there's like if I have to recall a specific moment I remember when I was listening to my dad's incredible collection of vinyls he has He's such a great music collector, and actually, I owe to him and to my mom. Um, if I have some knowledge of music, I owe it all to them. And I remember he was listening to No Woman No Cry by Bob Marley, and I could see him and my mom just hugging and smiling. And I was like, okay, I wanna, I wanna do this with my life. I wanna deliver such a powerful message that it, it moves something in people, and they, they, you know, they react and they share love. And so. That's, I think that uh, that's the moment that I realized I wanted to do this for, you know, for my life, you know, in my life. Since I was writing K-pop, I started in 2018. Um, slowly but steady, I fell in love with the whole Korean culture. And so I started by, you know, the usual, just watching a Korean drama, just listening more to K-pop and stuff. And then I became an army. I started to stand like a lot of groups. I started to go to a lot of K-pop events related. Um, so K-pop nights, they were like the best moment in London for me. If you ask me, we had like a lot of fun dancing to K-pop and stuff. And so I started like hanging around to Korean restaurants, um, going even to language exchange uh, cafes where I could meet new Korean friends. And so I realized that I was really in love with this culture. And I was supposed to live for Korea originally in March 2020 for um, songwriting camp at SM. But then COVID happened. And so I went back to Italy and I realized, OK, maybe it's stupid, maybe it's rushed. I'm going to be literally the only songwriter traveling to Korea during COVID, but I don't care. I'm going to do it because this is my passion and I'm so tired of waiting. I really wanted to experience the city, to live the culture, to eat the food, to like to speak the language. I really wanted to experience all of this. And so I just took the first flight and I left. I left six months ago and, you know, it was a bold move. You know, a lot of things that I did in my life were a bold move, uh, including moving to London, no, not knowing anyone. And the same with Korea, moving to Korea, not knowing anyone. Um, but I knew that it was the right thing. I trusted my gut. And, um, you know, with a little help from my friends, from my family supporting me, um, I'm having the greatest time here and I'm not planning to leave anytime soon. <laughs>